Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7 Part 2, Serpent Isle. <clears throat> okay, I believe I have found Kane and uh, his parrot here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, talk to them. I am not in, tr in trouble, am I? I did not do anything. My name's Kane. I be a sheep herder. I am waiting for passage to Moonshade, if thou pleasest. Uh, passage, you say? I was told by Mistress Dever that I could buy passage with Captain Hawk to Moonshade. But when the captain came to the dock, he swore that he'd not go out in these storms again. I do not blame him, blame him to tell thee the honest truth, my lady. But I do, n do wish there was some way for me to talk to the mages there. Um, tell me about, uh, Devra. Oh, she be a nice lady, my lady. Mistress Dever helped me to count my money when I came. She put part of it in a little sack and told me that I was to give it to Captain Hawk to buy passage. And when she counted the rest, I could not afford to stay here until the captain decided it was safe to sail. But she said if I helped by chopping wood and such, I could stay as a servant, like. That was terrible kind of her. Uh, tell me about Hawk. Captain Hawk sails to the, sails the Arabella. That's the ship out at the dock out there, is, out there a ways. He was staying here until he got in a fight and the pikemen took him away. Thou art not here to take me too, art thou? I didn't fight, honest. I hid under the table when Captain Hawk and, the Ma and Master Flindo started shouting at one another. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not here. Uh, tell me about uh, Flindo. Master Flindo is a merchant of some sort, I think. He is not very nice. All he doth do is complain about Captain Hawk not wanting to sail to Moonshade. He says the Captain Hawk only wants to wants more money, but the captain refused all his offers of more money. I think the captain doth not want to put any of us in danger is all. And Master Flindo was not very happy when the pikeman took Captain Hawk away. Uh, tell me about the pikeman. Begging that party, my lady. I, I don't mean any disrespect. Master Flindo came in with several pikemen and said something to Captain Hawk that I didn't hear. Then the two of them began yelling and, well, then someone began swinging. I did not see who being under the table and all. Someone clouded Captain Hawk pretty hard, and then the pikemen were dragging him away. Master Argus shouted at them to leave him be, but thy, but, but thy pardon, they told him to mind his own innkeeping and nothing else. Master Argus was, the, was mighty angry and was going after them, but Mistress Devra stopped him. He said words I ain't never he heard before. Uh, talk about Argus. Ain't he big and strong, though? I'll wager he could lift even more than my brother. And Edrin can lift two full-grown ewes all by himself. I can tell that Master Argus is or was a pikeman. He doth have those marks on his face. But I do not understand why those other fellows treated him like they did. Mayhaps they were angry at him for talking like that in front of his mother. That could be... Um, storms? Enough to make a man's blood turn to ice, my lady. Why, one moment... Edrin was not more than five paces from me, and then he weren't nowhere to be found. Of course, it took a minute or two for my eyes to clear and mine ears to cease ringing after that lightning strike. But I went searching right away, and I couldn't find hide nor hair of him. Uh, tell me about your brother Edrin. Edrin is my older brother, my lady. We were herding the sheep into the pen one night when one of those strange storms hit out a, a clear sky. It looked and lo I looked and looked and looked, but ain't no one seen him. All I found was this here parrot, which I brought along for the company to Moonshade. Uh, tell me about this parrot. I'd been searching for Edrin a little over a day, I suppose, when I found this here parrot sitting under a tree, all pitiful-like. Well, now it was awful lonesome, so I asked the bird what it was doing out in the forest instead of home in a cage. I liked to leapt out of my skin when the thing croaked ale. But Captain Hawk said that that's the way of such birds. Still and all, I think ale... Tis his name now, is smarter than some of the folks I know. And he doth have a powerful fondness for ale. I hope Edrin will allow me to keep ale. After all, he doth have his, his crystal, and I do not have nothing. Uh, what kind of crystal is this? When I was not very old, Dad took Edrin to Moonshade with him. I remember I cried and cried, but Mother said I was too young to go. She promised I'd be allowed to go the next time. Only there wasn't a next time, because Dad died that fall, and Edrin and I have have been too busy with the sheep to go since then. But sometimes when I was scared at night, Edrin would let me hold the crystal until I fell asleep. And I never had any dreams then. 
Who would have thought that I'd travel all alone to Moonshade like this one day? Uh, tell me about Moonshade. Well, my lady, as near as I can surmise, if these storms ain't natural, then that means they must be magic-like. And everyone knows that if thou dost want anything magic-like, thou shouldst go to Moonshade. If these storms took Edrin away and they're magic-like, then one of the mages must be able to tell me how to find him. All I have to do is go there and ask. Mistress Dever told me that I might ask Master Ensorcio if he could help me. She said he was one of them mages. I wondered, I wondered a little about that, because everyone doth know that all mages live in Moonshade. But I asked anyhow. Well, tell me what he said. I do not like to speak ill of anyone, my lady, but Master Ensorcio doth have the worst temper I have ever seen. All I did was ask if he was a mage and could he help me, and he threatened to change me, in, change me to a frog. All he would have had to do was tell me to go away and leave him alone, and I would have not bothered him no more. Now I, now I know why Dad used to say if we were bad, the mages would come and take us away. Mayhap Ma Master Ensorcio never had a dad to teach him manners. That's probably accurate. All right, goodbye. All right, let's try talking to the parrot. Good luck, Kane. Luck to you, luck to thee too. Squawk. Cracker. Oh, hey, they actually put a pillow, uh, a, a sheet on a pallet. Squawk. Cracker. Cute bird. See nor here. See nor here. Squawk. Squawk. Cracker. Oh, walla walla, squawk! What was that pallet not uh, comfortable enough for you, Kane? Cracker, squawk! Oh, all right. Do you say anything else? I don't think you say anything else. See you nor here. See you nor here. Okay. Something tells me that that uh, bird is more than it appears. All right. Let's see if we can go uh, wake up uh, um, Selena. Oh, hello. You're already awake. Hello. Tis a pleasure to meet thee, my lady. I am Selina. It is so wonderful that a woman such as thyself hath come to our land. There is so much that thou canst teach us. Uh, teach? In Monitor, women may be warriors, but at the cost of their femininity. In Fawn, women are valued for their beauty, at the cost of their independence and intelligence. And in Moonshade, women may be mages, but the true power lies in the hands of men. So thou seest, thou art brave, intelligent, and beautiful. Thou art not one nor the other. Thou art all of these things at once. Uh, yeah, all of that, uh, but what about this fur cape? How cute! But dost thou not think that it is a bit warm here for a fur cap? And, I don't know, but it seems a bit small for thee. It fits me just fine. Uh, tell me about Monitor. Monitor is just south of here. It is controlled by pikemen who place fighting prowess above all else. Few there value beauty, and even fewer possess intelligence. They would do well with a dose of humility. Tell me about the pikemen. If the only pikemen I had ever had the pleasure of encountering were thou and Argus, I would say differently. But many of the pikemen I have seen are vain braggarts, who delight in bullying anyone weaker than they are. Mm, excuse me. And their idea of honor is bought cheaply in ransom and tolls on the travelers they are sworn to protect. I'm sorry, Elmandretta, but I think the pikemen are, on the whole, contemptible. Yeah, no, I, I pretty much agree with you. Uh, tell me about Fawn. Fawn is north northwest of here. They have a woman for a ruler, but she rules in name alone. The great captains and money control the city in truth, and give lip service to beauty only when it's convenient. It would serve them right if the women revolted and went to Monitor to learn how to fight. Uh, tell me about the great captains. I've never been to Fawn El Madrida, so I can only repeat what I've heard or have been told. The great captains keep the Lady of Fawn in ignorance, preferring a pretty figurehead to an intelligent ruler. Uh, it's somewhat accurate, I, I'd say. Uh, tell me about Moonshade. Moonshade is east of here, on, the other, on another island. They are ruled by adepts, but shun normal people as below their notice. Each mage doth have his or her own version of reality, to such an extent that thou should sift everything they say for a kernel of truth. I sometimes wish the mages would find themselves on the decks of Fawn's fishing fleet and work for an honest living for just a few days. Maybe then they'd learn who the important people truly are. 
Tell me about the adepts. From what I have heard, being an adept is as much a result of an accident of birth rather than any great training. Each adept specializes in some skill or another. So a mage that could kill everyone in his mansion with a single spell might well be unable to fetch his slippers from the front from in front of the fire with even a series of spells. The adepts are entirely too full of themselves, Elmandretta. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Farewell, Selina, until we meet again. Alright, so I think I need to go talk to the, uh, the pikemen before, uh, any of the other stuff can, uh, commence. So, let's go ahead and head up there. No, no, no teleport storm? Oh. Jeez, there's a lot of you. This is a bull tower, knave. State thy business or be gone. We have no time for idle chit-chat with goblins about. Um, I would like to talk about Captain Hawk. So, thou art a friend of that criminal? His ransom is a mere 100 monetary. We also accept other precious items. Uh, alright, well, I'll pay the fine. Dost thou wish to pay Captain Hawk's fine? Yep. Well, I do not believe that a rogue like thyself has, has the riches to buy Hawk's freedom. What canst thou give us? I... I have a friggin... I, I'm a friggin' knight! Alright, monetary. Now that's something we like. How much dost thou have? We've got 1,703 monetary, sir. Tis not enough! But thou didst say the ransom was 100 monetary! Well, we changed our minds. Now we want 2,000 monetary. They are thieves! Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, magic items. Pwah! Monitorians do not need magic, especially not magic weapons. Uh, guilders. That also mean the strange glowing money that the mages use. Bah, take that to bull and, and exchange it for true money, like monetary. Uh, fawn money? <laughs> Very funny. Take those little silver coins to bull and exchange them for true coin. Jewels? Don't take jewels. Thou might have cheat us by telling us they was worth more than they was. Gold or silver, yeah. Jewels, no. Alright, well, so, if we, uh, whatever we offer, they will continually increase it. You could offer them a million and it would go up. So, goodbye, scum. Let's head down and, uh, take a look. Well, there he is. He's a gypsy. Well, and suddenly they all vanish. Uh, well, nope, they're asleep there now. Alright, well. Alright, so... Th oh, there we go. Now it teleported. Now they're just all, like, milling around outside. That is weird. So, one way that you can get money in this game is to, uh, go kill all the, uh, uh pikemen in the tower. Uh, I'm probably not ever gonna do that, but it is something you can do. I have heard that thou art in need of finances, shall we say. I believe that I can be of help. Um, help? Not long ago, one of those strange storms took the lighthouse that was up the coast north and east of here. In its place is a strange building locked tight and reportedly filled with hideous monsters and great treasure. One I thought is thought of as my beloved found a key of, on a creature outside of the building. He gave this key to me for certain favors and promised to meet me here so we could seek the treasure together finances? I will simply say that a little birdie told me that thou dost need desperately to sail to Moonshade. Well, I don't know about desperately. Now, with Captain Hawk a prisoner of the Tower Guards, thou must certainly be trying to scrape together a ransom sufficient to sate those greedy ruffians. ruffians. Damn, out of soda. What was that, El Madreda? No, nothing, nothing. It is also obvious if one thinks about it just so. Uh huh. Uh, who was your beloved? He is not here and shows no signs of keeping his word. Men. Frankly, we would do best if we were to rid ourselves of men entirely. Well, then there's a little problem of having kids. What a sisterhood we should make. Um, uh, wh what about the rest of us? Oh, you guys can tag along too, I suppose. Uh, key, you say? If thou art willing to allow me to join thee, I can lead thee to treasure enough for both of us. I have the key and the instructions, but I am no match for what may lie ahead. 
Wilt thou join me in seeking the treasure? Sure, I guess. I knew that thou wouldst be interested. Judging from what I've been told, it would be best if only two went. The danger to any more than two is great. Wilt thou leave thy companions here for their, their safety? Ah, yeah, sure, why not? Thou art a true friend to them, Elmandretta. Thou canst sa salve their wound wounded pride with some of the treasure that we bring back. Here is the key I promised. Oh, well, so we've lost our uh, regular companions, unfortunately. Uh, I think the key automatically went on to our uh, uh, thing there. Onward, and we have Selina, who is, um... Oh, no, here's the key. Let's go ahead and take that. Uh, she has a scroll of Kalumna's intuition. Well, I will take that. I don't know what the heck it does. She's wearing stockings. Fishnet stockings. She has black boots. She has chain armor. She has a guani cloak, if we wanted to take it, but I don't want to. She has a blink ring. Do not touch my ring! And she takes it back. We still have uh, our blink ring, though. Not that it does anything for us. Alright, so let's take a look at her uh, stats. Uh, she has a strength of 12, dexterity of 12, intelligence of 14, combat of 6, hits 12. She is level 1 with no experience points. You know... I really do think that uh, oops, um, the rest of the uh, party would be beneficial here. I might take these black boots. Apparently she has a hole in her stockings. Um, getting a weapon could be would be useful. Now look here, Elmandretta, thou didst pledge to take me to the treasure, but this is the wrong direction. Wilt thou take me to the treasure or no? Uh, yes, I will. Much better. To the gold! Right, fine, fine, be that way. Jeez, woman. Well, alright, so, um... There was a, um... A lighthouse, I think, uh, somewhere around there. So we can just follow the coast up uh, and find it. And uh, we might uh, find some other things along the way. So let's go ahead and, uh... Whoop. Well, don't mind if I do. So we'll follow the coastline here for a bit. Uh, you know, Selina, you, you could really use a weapon. Oh, but you'll be doing all the fighting, honey. What? Exploding Powder Maker. Huh. I think something happened here. Keep out. Oh my, there is a ghost here. Who dares to disturb the restless repose of the Hierophant of Chaos? Wait, I know thee. The Void hath whispered to, to me of thy coming hero from a distant land. Uh, why are you talking to this ghost, Elmandretta? Uh, uh that's just the thing that I do. But thou do but dost thou dare to hear the answer to the answers to thy questions? Uh restless repose. Did not faithful Sethus tell thee of my fate? I was slain on this very spot centuries ago, at the hands of the soldiers of order. Is this your, the house that you had then? Well no, not really. Okay. My spirit hath lingered here, for my final duties remain unfinished. Once I have passed my knowledge to thee, I shall be free to ascend to the void. However, my soul shall not have rest until the Chaos Serpent is restored. Uh, whispers from the void. Do not toy with me, hero. Though our purpose may be the same, our philosophies are not. I know thee to be no friend of Chaos. Chaos was my friend in, in Xenosaga, come on! Oh, uh, good point. Okay, I take it back. Yet we both can sense the messages from the void between the worlds, the wisdom of the great Earth Serpent. We thought him dead or deposed, yet he again speaks to men, though his power is a pale imitation of his former glory. 
uh, questions. I know what thou dost see seek, hero, and I am opposed to it. Chaos must reign supreme, and not an unequally yoked, and not be unequally yoked to order in the prison known as balance. Mm, excuse me. Yet even servitude would be better than than the damnation that chaos now endures, with its forces driven apart and broken. Listen carefully; I shall give thee my aid for this one this one time. But we must be enemies ever afterward. Uh, aid, you say? I shall now tell thee of the way. Tell thee the way to restore the serpent of chaos. Until thou dost do this, balance cannot be restored. I have no love of balance, but I also know that chaos cannot reign in imbalance. Ask me these things: where thou must go, what thou must bring, and the right thou must perform. Uh, okay, where must I go? The shrine of chaos. Do doth lie within the heart of Skullcrusher Mountains. I know that thou hast been in this dungeon, but hast thou found the secret passageways? I have not been to that dungeon yet. I see a shadow of a vision, a great mighty detonation shattering the great bronze doors. Is this the future, or hast thou done this in the past? The rite is to be performed in the most sacred precincts of the shrine, before the Wall of Lights. Uh, what must I, what I must bring? The right cannot succeed unless thou dost bring the Serpent of Blackrock to open the Wall of Lights and admit the energy from the Void. Any of the three serpents shall do, though the Serpent of Chaos would be most appropriate. Thou must also bring the Banes imprisoned within the prisms which thou hast fashioned. Banes? Uh, the right? Thou must begin by opening the Wall of Lights, for this provides the energy source which the right requires. This is done by placing the Serpent of Blackrock in the, in the stone slot on the floor. Next, thou must place the banes upon the altars of chaos. Thou must place each bane upon the altar which is dedicated to its native force. When thou hast placed each correctly, a flame of chaos shall appear at, as thy sign. The time is now right to restore the Serpent of Chaos to completeness. Recite this mantra. In pre cli ort Ilem preen ot inten mani. All right, nothing more. If thou art certain, uh, damnation. Behold the mi mystery of balance. When order struck down the serpent of chaos, the act undid the tapestry of balance. Thus, both chaos and order were doomed. When the serpent was broken, the three forces of chaos were driven to, to insanity. But so was the order serpent. Um, Ellen Dredda, do we really have to listen to this? This is quite boring and uninteresting. We should be going after the gold. Hush, Selina. I'm I'm busy here, doing avatar -y things. Avatars must do avatar -y things. <sighs> All right, but gold... Shut up. Uh, forces of chaos, you say? The forces of chaos, the sacred embodiment of the philosophies of chaos, were corrupted and became the banes which thou hast fought against. Uh, I, I have? Oh, maybe you haven't done that yet. Didst thou suppose the Banes to be innately evil? False, supp false supposition. The Banes are only insane because of the imbalance. Restore balance, and they shall be healed. Okay, tell me about the Order Serpent. The Serpent of Order thought itself victorious in the War of Imbalance, but the act of destroying the Chaos Serpent brought despair. With the Great Earth Serpent lost and the Chaos Serpent struck down... Only the Ser Order Serpent remains to rule the in the Void. Yet due to the imbalance, the Serpent of Order hath lost its mind. It floats mindlessly in the Void, able to coalesce a thought... Uh, able to coalesce a thought with only the most supreme effort. Alright, let's change the subject. Must we? Very well. Alright, goodbye. Wait, hero. I can only speak with thee this once. Dost thou understand what I have said? Yes. I disbelieve thee, mortal. Take the scroll. It shall bring our conversation to thy remembrance in thy need hour of need. I must confess, Avatar, that there is a mystery which even I cannot explain. The right cannot succeed without an allied force strong enough to wield, weld the banes together into the serpent. It is a greater task to, re to restore than to destroy. Seek the answer to this mystery, or thou shalt not succeed. Now I must go. Many thanks! And he disappears into that stuff. Well, don't mind if I uh, borrow these. Um, anything else, Lane? Wait. Um, you you haven't uh, disappeared. Goodbye. Yes. 
Okay. Seems a bit bugged. Well, no, no. There he goes. There he goes now. Okay. Which means I have two of these scrolls. Ritual of Reunification. First, open the window into the void by placing the Blackrock Serpent in its proper slot. Second, each imprisoned bane must be placed upon the altar, corresponding to its principle. Well, we don't know what these banes are, but it looks like it's about to tell us. Unrestrained emotion leads to madness. Unchecked enthusiasm leads to wantonness. Unthinking tolerance produces anarchy. The flame of chaos shall welcome each bane to its proper place. Third, that which shall bond the banes together must be placed upon the remaining altar. If this is done correctly, chaos shall be reunited. Okay. And I apparently have two of those now. So, now are we done? Yeah, pretty much. Good. Can we get to the gold? Mm, not quite. I have to explore this place. The House of the Unicorn by Gant. Uh, okay, I believe we have read that. So, we've got a door there. Uh, we've got the stairs up here, which uh, we will take. Nothing in there. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Alchemist apparatus. Ooh, don't mind if I do again. Thank you. There does not appear to be anything else of interest here. So, let's head down these stairs. Oh, wow. Whoops! Oh god. Uh-oh. Holy crap! I must retreat to the safety of, of the sleeping bull. Do not worry, we shall meet again, Avatar. And she blinks away. Um. There we go. Well! Wait, wait. Still one left. There we go. Alright, well, there's a couple gems here. If I can grab them. There we go. Let's grab those. There's nothing in there. Ooh, a nightshade. I'll take that. There's a chest here that has apparently cursed me. But I will take the, uh... Two gems, and is that a black pearl? That is a black pearl. I will take that. I will take that nightshade. Yo, twas trapped! Alright, I want that nightshade. Just take that nightshade. There we go. Hey! Turn off hack mover. I doubt any of these uh, skeletons have anything. And it does not look like there's anything else here. Whoa! That ghost decided to attack me. Two ghosts decided to attack me. I wonder if this is where the, uh, um... Monitorians got their, uh, um... Gunpowder. The powder kegs. Who knows? But we need to go back and get Selena. Oh, Selena, where are you? Seriously, Selena, where the hell did you go? Alright, let's check the, uh... The room down here. Oh! She is still poisoned. Poisoned. 
How's it going, Selena? If thou hast a stomach stomach to face great danger, then perhaps we can resume the quest for the lost gold. Um Yes, let's resume quest. Dost thou pledge to go directly to the site of the gold this time? Yes. I shall hold thee to thy word. Onward. How are you doing? What? We just walked out. Jeez. You've got six hits and you are poisoned. Well, I do have a... Uh, a bandage I can give you. Not much else. Now nah, the poison should wear off eventually. All right, we'll get back up to the. Uh, let's see, how are you doing on hit points? Uh, seven. All right, well we're back up here. Uh, in the next episode, um, we'll look to see if there's uh, anything else around here um, that might be interesting to explore. I shall see you all next time.